This is Rive Technology Understanding the Real Truth. Here is an example of a helium plasma tube known as a Fantron tube that was discovered and developed in 1920s and 1930s by Raymond Royal Rive. And this is my attempt to replicate this method. Okay, this is the Fantron tube. And what I have here in the back, you can see the coil. That's my matching network coil. Coax comes in from the bottom. And uh, this is a tube that I got from Canada. Um, and uh, the, basically the coil in the back you can see is, uh, is put together um, design of Ralph Hartwell who actually uh, has a tube like this. This tube is about, that's how big this tube is, it's about, that's probably about eight inches across right there. And you hear in the background that's my oscilloscope right here. It's my oscilloscope and I'm showing the waveform here that I have and this is the test to see I'm driving the audio two audio frequencies I'm having one start at one Hertz all the way up to 100,000 Hertz uh, start and then uh, basically sweep and these are my uh, function generators there's one right here and there's another one right here okay and it goes into this box up here and then from there it's driven to this box here this is my uh, it's my transmitter, my exciter, okay? And it's set at right now. It's set at uh, 1.8 kilohertz. And uh, sorry, I have to get it focused in here. And that's a broadcast quality transmitter. That's about 500 megahertz, all the way up to 1.8 megahertz. And this here is my. Uh, a Meritron 1300 solid state one and a half kilowatt uh, linear amplifier. You're going to see this here. It goes all the way up to about, uh, I guess, two kilowatts. Unfortunately, my uh, I'm limited by my uh, UPSs. I have three UPSs here that I put together, and this one supplies my power. I don't have enough. Those are my speakers down there. And I have a matching uh, modulation battery that supplies that, and a uh, and a uh, Palstar uh, antenna new net uh, tuner. Okay, I'm gonna turn this thing on. Okay, there's a tube right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the transmitter here and turn it to operate here. Okay. That's on transmit. Let me get it in close enough so you can actually see that. And uh, I'm going to turn on my power. So I'm going to watch this uh, SWR here. Okay. So here we go. So it can light off the tube. There we go. I'm going to go up to the tube. My tube is being lit. Okay, there it is right there. Zoom in a little bit more. You can see that. There it is right there. I'm gonna add some more power to it. I'm up uh, at about uh, 100, about 200 watts, 250 watts right now on that tube. You can see that right there. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. A tube is uh, full of helium, by the way. So, And my SWR is here. You can see it right there. And my SWR here on the Ameritron transmitter, or it's almost nothing. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some audio to it. And unfortunately, my audio is going to, when I do that, my reflective power is going to go up. Okay? So, here we go. That's my modulation meter. I'm going to crank it up a little bit. What's going to happen is my uh, reflective power is going to go up, unfortunately. Since I add modulation to it. Decrease my power a little bit.
Okay. You can see that. The modulation is really affecting, reflecting my tuner. So I'm going to do up here so I can tune this down a little bit up here. Okay, here we go. No. Can't really do it. No, really. So I'm getting my powers climbing. I'm gonna reduce it a little bit here. But you can hear that. The audio is really affecting the affecting the tube. You can see that right there. There's the plasma right there. Right now it's about uh, about 150 watts. I'm gonna increase the power a little bit. About 500 watts right now. My reflective power is about 25 watts. Right there. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. So I'm gonna reduce my power a little bit. Okay. And my audio modulation is about, I'd say probably about 30%. Now, the modulation is this right here, okay? That's what, that's what it looks like, okay? That's what I'm sweeping across the tube right there, okay? Your amplitude. Now, my speakers are right here. You can't hear them right there. And uh, the tube is pumping out about... Uh, 300 watts right now. So on my in my SWR is here, right there. You can see that. And again, I'm just so I can lower this down a little bit. And I can't seem to lower it down. Fortunately, to lower the frequency. If I turn down the audio, you'll see what happens. Okay? I turn down the audio and I can crank up the power. You can see that right there. It's really weird. Not really, but you know that is. So, I'm going to adjust my uh, SWR now here. All the way to down, max. Pick it one more time. There it is right there. Add a little more power here now. There we go. To add more power, my uh, my light gets really intense. And my SWR is pretty much, pretty much down. You can see this here. Very good, almost at 500 watts. So I'm gonna reduce it because I'm limited to my power right now. And again, my excited is right here. Modulation is off right now. So if I increase my modulation, what's gonna happen is basically uh, my uh, power is gonna go up. It's my reflector. There it is right there. Twenty percent modulation, and that's what the tube looks like right there. Okay, so uh, do a close-up shot here of the tube. All right, thank you very much for watching. And I'm gonna turn down the audio here on this. Crank up the power a little bit. And right now is a 500 watts, right there. Thank you again for watching. For the past 60 years, no one knew how the Rife Ray Number no. 5 or, or the Beam Ray Clinical Instrument audio frequencies worked with high RF carrier frequency. Due to lack of this knowledge, many people have been wrongly using the audio frequencies for treatment of the.
This means that all the frequency generators that people call Rife machines, which are sold in the market, can output Dr. Rife's original high RF frequencies. Dr. Rife machine output about 40 to 300 watts of power. High power instruments used ray tube, the Fanatron. Here is my attempt to build the Fanatron Rife transmitter. It uses a uh, match antenna and matching network by Ralph Hartwell from Louisiana and a Fanatron tube made in Canada. It's about 24 inches. It's about eight inches in diameter. It's back filled with, uh, with helium gas and uh, basically at, uh, at atmospheric pressure. It's ionized about 40 watts to about uh, 300 watts of power. I'm using about 500 watts of power. Thank you. Thanks. This is, really at a, this is really lost science and it's too bad for all of us. Please make copies and duplicate this for everybody. Uh, Magnet Vortex.